Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this frame using slope deflection method. Before analyzing, let us see the frame one time. In this frame, there are two columns, column AB and column CD. Also, there is a beam BC. In the columns, there are no loads. In the beam BC, there is uniformly distributed load 12 kN per meter. It is acting for the full span. In the point B, there is a nodal point load 6 kN. It is acting towards the right side. The height of the column AB is 4 meter. The height of the column CD is 2 meter. The length of the beam BC is 4 meter. The moment of inertia for the column AB is 4i, for the beam BC it is i, and for the column CD it is 2i. In this frame, the support D is yielding. The vertical displacement in the support D is 4 mm. When we convert 4 mm into meter, we are getting 0 0.004 meter and the displacement occurs downwards. The horizontal displacement in the support D is 1 mm. When we convert 1 mm into meter, we are getting 0 0.001 meter and the displacement occurs towards right side. The flexural rigidity EI is given as 4000 kN meter square. This frame is a sway type frame. Let us assume that the sway occurs towards the right side. Now let us find the kinematic indeterminacy of the frame. In the joint B, we have the slope theta B. In the joint C, we have the slope theta C. Also, we have the sway. So, the kinematic indeterminacy of the frame is equal to 3. Now, let us find the fixed end moments. In the column AB, there is no load. So, M of AB and M of BA are 0. Now, let us find the fixed end moments in the beam BC. In the beam BC, there is UDL. 12 kN per meter, it is acting for the full span. The formulas for the fixed end moments are minus WL square upon 12 and positive WL square upon 12. We know that in the support D, we have vertical displacement 0.004 meter. This displacement will make the point C to come down by 0.004 meter, we just saw that the point C comes down by 0.004 meter. So, we have to find the fixed end moments due to the vertical displacement. The formula is 6 Ea delta upon L square. Since the displacement occurs on the right side, these moments will be negative because they will be acting in the anti-clockwise direction. Let us apply the values inside the formulas. W is 12, L is 4, Ea is 4000, Delta is 0 0.004. After the calculations, we are getting M of BC and M of CB. Now, let us find the fixed end moments in the column CD. In the column CD, there is no load, so there will be no fixed end moment due to the loads. In the support D, we have the horizontal displacement 0.001 meter towards the right side. So, we have to find the fixed end moments due to the horizontal displacement. Since the horizontal displacement occurs towards the right side, the moments due to displacement will be positive. 
you can see that both of the movements are acting in the clockwise direction let us apply the values inside the formulas length of the column cd is 2 meter delta is 0.001 meter the moment of inertia for the column cd is 2i so we have to multiply the ei value with 2 after the calculation we are getting m of cd and m of dc now let us make the slope deflection equations first let us make them in the column a b we know that this is a sway type frame since the columns are subjected to sway with the slope deflection equations we have to add the sway moments 6 ei delta upon l square since the sway occurs towards the right side the moments due to sway will be negative let us apply the values in the equations m of a b and m of b a are zero length of the column a b is four meter let us apply that the moment of inertia for the column a b is four i so instead of i we have to apply four i in the point a there is a fixed support in the fixed support there will be no slope so theta a will be zero finally in the column a b we have made two equations now let us make the slope deflection equations in the beam bc let us apply the fixed end moments length of bc is 4 let us apply that finally in the beam bc we have made two equations now let us make the slope deflection equations in the column cd since the column cd is subjected to sway we have to add the sway moments with the equations in the equations let us apply the fixed end moments length of column cd is 2 meter let us apply that the moment of inertia for cd is 2i so instead of i we have to apply 2i in the point d there is a fixed support so theta d will be 0 finally in the column c d we have made two equations now let us make the joint equilibrium equations in the joint b there will be two moments mba and mbc when we add both of them it will be 0 for mba and mbc we have made the slope deflection equations let us apply them and then add them we have to keep the numerical on the right side let us keep this equation as number 7 in the joint C there will be two moments MCB and MCD when we add both of them it will be 0 we have made the slope deflection equations for MCB and MCD let us apply them and then add them and then keep the numerical on the right side let us keep this equation as number 8 in this analysis there are three unknowns but we have only two equations so we have to make one more equation to make that equation we have to find the horizontal reactions in the points a and d First, let us take the column AB and find the horizontal reaction in the point A. When we calculate the horizontal reaction HEA, we have to always assume that the moments MAB and MBA are acting in the clockwise direction and HEA is acting towards the right side. To find HEA, let us take moment about B. In this case, we are moving towards right hand side. Clockwise will be positive and anticlockwise will be negative. HA is acting in the anticlockwise direction, so it will be negative and the distance is 4 meter. So, for HA, the moments are acting in the clockwise direction, so both of them are positive. 
Finally, we are getting HEA, which is equal to MAB plus MBA upon 4. Now, let us take the column CD and find the horizontal reaction HD. Here also, we have to assume that the moments MTC and MCD are acting in the clockwise direction and HD is acting towards the right side. To find HD, let us take moment about to see. In this case, we are moving towards left hand side. Clockwise will be negative and anticlockwise will be positive. HD is acting in the anticlockwise direction, so it will be positive and the distance is 2 meter. So, 2 HD, both of the movements are acting in the clockwise direction, so both of them are negative. Finally, we are getting HD which is equal to MCD plus MDC upon 2. In the frame, now let us apply the rule sigma h is equal to 0. The point load 6 kN HA and HD are acting towards the right side. So, all of them will be positive. Let us apply the expressions for HA and HD just before we have made. Let us take 6 on the right side. It will come as negative. For these two terms, we can take LCM. Let us take 4 on the right side. 4 into 6, we will get 24. For MAB, MBA, MCD and MDC, let us apply the expressions from the slope deflection equations. Let us multiply this equation by 2. When we do that, we will get this. And let us multiply this equation by 2. When we do that, we will get this. Then let us add all of the values. Let us take 48 on the right side, so it will become negative. Minus 48 minus 24, we will get minus 72. Let us keep this equation as number 9. Now we have 3 equations 7th one, 8th one, and 9th one. Let us take a calculator and solve these 3 equations. If you do not know how to solve 3 equations in the calculator, see the description below. There is a link. You can click the link and watch the video. I have used the calculator and got the values of Ea theta b, Ea theta c and Ea delta. When we apply the values of Ea theta b and Ea delta in the equation number 1, we are getting Mab. When we apply the values of Ea theta b and Ea delta in the equation number 2, we are getting MBA. When we apply the values of Ea theta b and Ea theta c in the equation number 3, we are getting MBC. When we apply the values of Ea theta b and Ea theta c in the equation number 4, we are getting MCB. When we apply the values of Ea theta c and Ea delta in the equation number 5, we are getting MCD. When we apply the values of Ea theta c and Ea delta in the equation number 6, we are getting MDC. In this analysis, we have calculated all of the moments. Now, we are going to find the reactions. First, let us take the column AB and find the reactions. When we take moment about to B, we are getting HA. When we apply this rule, we are getting HB. Now, let us take the beam BC and find the reactions. When we take moment about to C, we are getting VB. And when we apply this rule, we are getting VC. Now, let us find the reactions in the column CD. When we take moment about to D, we are getting HC. And when we apply this rule, we are getting HD. Using the reactions and loads, we can draw the shear force diagram. Using this formula, we can draw the free movement diagram. Using the direction of the movements, we can draw the end movement diagram. Then we can combine both of the diagrams and draw the bending movement diagram. Alternatively, we can draw the bending movement diagram on the tension side. In the beam BC, here we have the maximum positive bending movement. 
let us see how to find the point where the maximum positive bending moment occurs. Let us take the shear force diagram. In this point, the shear force becomes zero. In this point, there will be maximum positive bending moment. Let us make a section in that point. We know that in this section, the shear force is zero. Using that concept, we can find x. Using the value of x, we can find the maximum positive bending moment. Now, we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.